in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for Jesus. And you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our advancement hour. By the grace of God, this morning we'll be looking at the force of time management. The force of time management. Time is vital for advancement in anything. Life itself is wrapped in time. And every advancement in life requires time to be accomplished. As a matter of fact, the Bible talked about the process of time. Things get done within the process of time. Time is a, an essential ingredient in processing your advancement. That is why time wastage is advancement wastage. I've come to discover that time is the currency of life. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. Ephesians 5 verse 16. Colossians 4, 5. I'll read those two scriptures. I'll take them as text for this meeting. Ephesians 5, 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Time is to be redeemed. You need to load your time with things that will make for your advancement, not for your reduction. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. Colossians chapter 4, verse 5. Walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. And in the mouth of two or three witnesses, a matter shall be established. The Bible commands that we should redeem time. In other words, make the best use of time to accomplish purpose. It was Mike Mudok that said it, and I believe. He said, people who waste time waste their lives. The truth is this, when one wastes time, He's a stealer of time because time belongs to God. Time is meant to be invested. Time is not meant to be wasted. The truth is this. Anyone that wastes time is a slothful person. And the end of a slothful person that's a lazy person and a poor person will always be a waster the Bible told us in Proverbs 18 verse 9 is a brother to him that is a slothful man. Their common surname is poverty. One of the ways you check whether you are making the best use of your time is your ability to see the gains you made within your time. The profits you made within your time. In other words, what your time yielded for you, what you use your time to accomplish. Every day you close your work, you close your business, ask yourself a question. But what have I accomplished today? 24 hours is given to us every day of our lives. Ask yourself. And I asked Papa say something. He said, there is no one that has up to one million days to live. What are you doing? Every day you are not getting younger. Every day you lose, you have lost something. So what are you doing with it? Knowing fully well, there are certain things you may not be able to do tomorrow that you will have the time to do today. Everything you are using right now, someone invested time to produce it. Everything you are celebrating now, somebody invested time to produce it. What are you using your time to produce that your world will celebrate tomorrow? I've discovered all over the world, this is true. Poor people all over the world, they hate other and they don't have value for time. Check out what I'm saying. It is your value for time that will help you put order to your life. And order is the mother of progress. Until you have order in your life, you cannot make advancement. You cannot make progress. 
You may succeed moving around the circle, but you need order. And it is your ability to appreciate time and use time well that will make you to put order in your life. Checking out people who are men and women of exploit in any field, you discover they have order. They have regular time of waking up. Regular time of going to work. Regular time of praying. They have regular time of doing certain things in their lives. It's not just by mistake. Romans chapter 12 verse 11. The Bible commands us that we should not be slothful in business. <laughs> slothful in business. You should not be lazy. Christianity is anti-slothfulness. And a slothful man, I told us earlier, Proverbs 18 verse 9, a slothful man and a waster are brothers. Why are they brothers? Poverty will always be their end. So when you see somebody wasting time, he's wasting life. He's wasting money. He's wasting things, resources. Time is one of the vital resources you need to process advancement. I also discovered that one of the greatest way to waste your time, waste your day, is to have no plan. Some people can plan their Christmas. Some have already done it now. Some can plan their journey, <laughs> but they don't plan their day. Demand a lot from your time. Demand a lot from your time. In other words, looking forward to, to accomplish more things from the time available to you. I read about a woman... Mary Kay Ash, many of you know her, died around 2001 or so, she died. But 1963, this woman started a business because she was being humiliated where she was working. And um, it was like a man's world. So anything she says, they don't reckon with it. And her junior, who was a man, was promoted over her. And she made up her mind that she's going to start a business that um, we change the course of things, a business that will give women equal opportunity to succeed to any level. And she began that business with about $5,000. But one of her secrets is that every day of her life, she will write down six things she must do. Today, we have what you call must-do list. Please always have it. Must-do list. Have your, have your plan. Have your things you must do. Any day you have such, you discover you accomplish much than when you didn't have it. Because anybody can come and juice with you, waste your time, and then before you know it, the day is gone. So she will write six things she will accomplish in the day. She will never do number two until she finishes number one. And in that order. Now, when she died in 2001, her business was over $20 billion. Created millionaires as directors everywhere. Talking about America as cosmetics. Many of us will use it up to today. The business is still thriving all over the world. Women that are here, you understand what I'm talking about. Any day you go to market with a must-do list or must-buy, the things you must buy, you won't waste time in the market. If you enter the market without such list, you will go there, you see one item, you look at it, just <laughs> turn it like this. You may even rub it at your chest and you see it, drop it and go away. You may go around the market and say, come back and buy the same thing because you have not planned what to do. But when you have such, you just go, bam, bam, you do and you are on your way. What are the characteristics of time? Time cannot be increased. <laughs> if you are praying to have 25 hours in a day, you may not get it. Time cannot be increased. Time cannot be stopped. Somebody is praying, let me just stop this. You can stop your own clock from working, but you have not stopped time from working. Is somebody following me now? You can stop your life from advancement, but you have not stopped others from advancement. So time cannot be stopped. Today you're not progressing it's not, does not mean other people are not progressing. And there are people that are jumping from the behind to take over. <laughs> so you have to work with your time. Time cannot be stopped. Time cannot be stored. You won't say, let me keep stored this time and tomorrow I will use it. Time cannot be stored. The only thing you can do with time is to invest time. Time can only be invested. Time can only be managed. Everyone is managing his own or her own. To make progress. It was Benjamin Franklin that said this. And I quote. Say, do thou love life? Do thou love life? If you do, then do not squander your time. Because that is the stuff that life is made up of. Do thou love life? He said, if you do, 
do not squander your time because that is the stuff that life is made up of. We must all grow to master and control time. We must all grow to be able to manage our lives and ourselves well. That is where it starts. Some of us who are employers of labor, you cannot manage your, your staff if you can't manage yourself. That's where it starts. That's why you must, you must begin to create order to yourself. Tell yourself that certain times, if you don't know, you could set alarm. <laughs> Some even when the alarm wake them up, they, they put it to another. You know, there's what you call body clock. As a matter of fact, as you do certain things regularly, for instance, you have a particular time of waking up. I'm telling you the truth. By the body clock, you discover that after some time, within that, when that time comes, you just wake up. If you don't understand, even if you have sleeping sickness, if you have to travel in the morning, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we we'll have this meeting by six. There's nothing that will make me to oversleep because it's already part of my. Do you understand? It must be here. But if you don't program it, you know, you may just discover you wake up by ten o'clock. <laughs> if you have to travel in the morning. And the boss is living by six. Won't you wake up? Even if you have sleeping sickness. The same way. Program yourself. Program yourself into time. To accomplish the things. Have a time. Regular time. You must study. Concerning this. There are some people now. They are doing business. They are not reading anything about the business they are doing. They are just going. The same way you have been doing it. That's what you are doing. You need to have time for meditation. Time to think. You need this time. And you have to create it. Nobody will create it for you. To think, how do I improve on what I'm doing? How do I get better results? You create time. And then as you are doing that, you are getting some insight. Certain things to do. <laughs> Last time we did Operation Flush. Is that not so? We saw how it is. I said, now, next time, let's open it up. And we'll open it up. What we saw here yesterday, we have never seen it since the history of this church. That was the highest attendance since the history of this church. Yesterday. But you have to create time. Create time. Create time. To think, to meditate, to reason with God. It takes time to reason too. Eh? God said, come, let us reason together. You need to create that time to reason with him. To find a way out. To do better things. To improve on what you are doing. To get better results. You need time to implement the things that come your way. Say with me, I hear. If you don't know, there are better ways of doing what you are doing now. And you need time to discover that. The best way to have control over your time is to be disciplined. Help me tell your neighbor, be disciplined. It will cost you something, but you know, there are two, I think, um, I think it's Anthony Robbins that said this, there are two pains in life, the pain of discipline and the pain of regret. Those who pay the pain of discipline today, they will avoid the pain of regret tomorrow. Those who refuse to pay for the pain of discipline today, they will pay for the pain of regret tomorrow, had I known. You know, that's the grammar of a fool. Had I known, that would never be a story in Jesus' mighty name. Discipline is simply doing the right thing at the right time in the right way. Doing the right thing at the right time in the right way. Quickly before my time expires, I give us what I call the time-saving approach. Time-saving approach. How do I redeem my time? How do I load more into my time to get results? What do I do? To make my time more profitable to me. It is important. Jesus at 12 understood the power of time. He said this time I must be about my father's business. <laughs> Number one. Have a plan. Help me tell you about have a plan. Just like I mentioned before. You need this what I call to do list. Every day when you wake up in the morning. The time you spend. One day I will teach us some planning too. One of the cause of this meeting, one day I'll do that. See, the time you wake up, just sit down for some moment and plan your day first. Okay, between now and now, I'm going to study it for the next one hour. I'll pray the next one hour. I will do this in the next. If you don't do that, you may discover you didn't do anything in the day. So plan it. Between so so, I'll be in the office. I will attend to people. I will handle this. I will handle this. I will this. Just plan it in the morning before you go out. If you carry that thing and you follow it, I'm telling you the truth, you will discover that day you accomplish more than the day you didn't have it. 
Because many things will come to distract you. Many things will want your attention. Many things will... Some people will come to just, okay, let us visit someone. <laughs> let us gist. Some telephone calls that will want to distract you. Are you getting what I'm talking about? But if you have that thing, you discover, in this, even when you are trying to drift, you, are, you try to come back. And it may not totally go as you plan, but you discover you accomplish more that day than when you didn't have it. And that's the same way you can do even for your month. For your, I don't do anything here. Anything we're doing here, I have a planner for the month. We don't just come up and wake up and start doing anything. Hey, there's a planner for this month. I've already planned the whole month. We're doing 21 days prayer, prayer here. One, I sat down, I did prayer for 21 days with scriptures. So it's not a just come here and start there as the spirit lead. No. <coughs> Targeted issues about people's life. Got the solution what it is put it down for 21 days before we start so it's not we're not eating to come here are you getting me now please go back to your work to your profile go and handle it business like that's why anybody come here to the altar and mess up i will charge i will charge the red eye because we're not playing here please whatever you're doing even if it's a cry you're doing do it business like have a time you open up have a time you start have it. And before you know it, people will begin to notice it. I was sharing with somebody here today. If you see men on Timba Kaliba coming here now, it was when I came here, I know it was mostly youth, youth church, youth. Are you getting me now? But there are certain things you do, you put it in place. The same people who value such will begin to come. <laughs> are you getting what I'm talking about? The same way, go back to your business. Handle it business like there are certain things you put in place. You begin to attract the kind of client you want, not monkeys. May God give us understanding. In Jesus' glorious name. Hallelujah. Please have a plan. Number two, avoid procrastination. Avoid what? Procrastination. Procrastination is one of the end time weapons of the devil. It keeps postponing till tomorrow what we will do today. And the truth is this, I think it was Brian Tracy that said it in his book, Eat the Frog. If you see that book, buy it. Eat the Frog. <laughs> if you if you keep postponing to tomorrow what you will do today you discover that there is no tomorrow for it but when you get to tomorrow you discover you see find another reason to put it to tomorrow there are certain things certain skills you need to acquire now why not go and acquire it you need to learn driving you need to learn type you need to do one thing or the other do it now you see there is a time that will come you, know, you may not be able to do that for instance if you are of above 25 years now, nobody will take you in the military. Now you getting me now. If you're saying, I will, I will, I will, I will until you're after 25, they won't take you again. As a matter of employment now, there are certain age you reach, except you go and falsify it, which some people are doing. <laughs> the nobody will take you. So there are certain things you must do, certain time. So stop procrastinating. I will do it tomorrow. Number three, avoid doing unnecessary things avoid doing unnecessary things but how will i avoid doing the necessary things if i don't have a plan you won't know what is necessary and what is not necessary so that's why you must plan so that you can set priorities the things you must do there are certain things that are urgent there are certain things that you can do anytime there are certain things you may you need to delegate it's not everything you must do that's one word saving time there are certain things any other person can handle it your support neck and you don't push it to you save your time. But if you don't, you want to do every, some things that are unnecessary. There are some calls you must not take. There are some certain things, for instance, letters, you must not be the one writing it. Eh? There are certain things you must just check yourself, check your itineraries every day. Just sing for two hours. That is one hour you have lost, especially during office hours. One day I went somewhere, somebody needed to attend to me, and the lady was on, on phone. For more than 30 minutes, saying, wait, wait, wait. And I, by the conversation, I know this is not official call. Maybe this boyfriend, girlfriend call. And look at time. That's why in organized, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe in Europe and other developed uh, economies, they don't allow you to answer call even in the office. Because it's one of the ways of wasting time. And they're paying you for the time. Please organize yourselves. There are certain people that should not visit you during working hours because they're wasting your time. 
It's not every meeting you must go. Especially if it's not adding value to you or adding to your progress and advancement. May God give us understanding. And finally, you need to be disciplined. I think I've mentioned that before. Hallelujah. Please understand, according to Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8, there are times and seasons for everything. There are certain things you need to do at certain times of your life. If you postpone them to tomorrow, you may be more difficult for you to do. For instance, I, I, I listened to Bishop Abiyo one time. He was saying something that in engineering, for instance, even in uh, aeronautics, they will take you maybe from young as early as 16, 17, 18 and all that. He said nobody will admit somebody into an engineering school if it's regular school or not uh, all this uh, part time or open university. <laughs> nobody will admit you at 40 years. Because he said they may be asking you, they say S plus Y. You say, are you talking of my wife? <laughs> Because the world is confused. There are certain things you can't do at certain times. So redeem the time. For the days are evil. Say with me, I will redeem the time. Why not rise on your feet with me and let's pray. Father, help me. I receive grace to redeem the time. I receive grace to be a time investor and not a time waster. Jesus, I will not waste my life. I will not waste my time. I will not waste my destiny. I need time to process my advancement. Why not lift up your voices? Pray, 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 pray. E galata zusa pa yagana brani yagana ba yagaraba. My time, my life will not be wasted. My time, my life will not be wasted. I receive grace to be a time investor and not a time waster. Jesus, grace to put order to my life. Grace to put plans to my life. In the name of Jesus, grace to use time well to I process my advancement. To process my advancement. Father, I receive that grace, that divine enablement, that divine enablement. My life will not be wasted. My time will not be wasted. My career will not be wasted. I will not waste my opportunities by lack of time management. Jesus, help me to redeem the time. Jesus, help me. Grace to load my time well with substances that will make for my advancement. Jehovah, I don't want to have a dull moment again in my life. I don't want to have empty, empty, empty life, empty time. Jehovah, grace, I terminate every form of indiscipline, every form of procrastination. Wherever procrastination had held me bound from using my time well, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, help me to confront, to eat the wrong, to confront, to do what I ought to do per time. To do what I ought to do per time. Father, to read when I need to read, to study when I need to study, to pray when I need to pray, to walk when I need to walk. Father, help my time to be useful. I don't want to waste my life. I waste my time. Jehovah, help me. This I've learned today that time is the currency of life. Help me to use this currency well. Jesus, empower me. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Please lift up your two hands to him right now. Wherever you have wasted your time, whatever time wasted that cost you in the time past, we plead the blood of Jesus for mercy and for restoration in the name of Jesus. From now, begin to discover opportunities within the process of time. In the name of Jesus. Grace to be a time investor. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Today we release upon you the grace to be a time investor in the name of Jesus. Every back door the enemy has been using to siphon your time, make you waste time. I command such back door to be closed now by the blood. Whatever idea God has given you, it requires time to process. I receive the grace for tenacity to pursue such within the framework of time be released upon you in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I decree before the end of this year, you shall receive a divine visitation. The work of your hand shall blossom. Your career shall blossom. Your profession shall blossom. I command mega favors for you now. 
mega breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Grace to be outstanding. 